Hi again, all. Uh, welcome back to yet another installment of Mr. Turner's Teaching Art from Home. Um, I have a nice little project to do today, and it doesn't take a whole lot. All you need is a piece of colored paper. Um, I have a few different colors I, I, that I can use. Uh, a piece of white paper, and scissors, glue, and some little three by five note cards, okay? Now, um, the project will end up looking like this. Let me get this up closer to the camera. Now, hopefully it doesn't fall apart. It just got glued on, so there we go. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is using these note cards, um, <clears throat> note cards we're going to cut triangles out of them okay and the easiest way to to cut the triangle i found is to fold this in half okay and just put a little crease right there at the top just a little crease and open it back up okay. then using our scissors you know you could take a pencil and you could draw from that point to the corner or, you know but it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just go from the corner to that little crease. And there's one triangle cut off. One triangle. Okay. So now we'll just turn it and go from the crease to the corner. And what that does is it creates three different triangles. Well, from one piece of note card. Okay, now we're gonna use these as our templates to cut some more, all right? And, okay, so we have these three, and let me put them on a piece of paper so that you can see better. There we go. Okay, so we have these three different triangles here. And what we're going to do is take some note cards. I have four here. I don't want to cut through too many at one time. It gets to it gets hard to cut. I'm just going to put that template right on top. Starting at the corner. Follow my template. There's that one. Turn it. that one so that I now I have five of each I want to have six or seven of each one so maybe I'll take two more cards and do the same exact thing set this on here just the way it would have been cut and cut okay now now, to get the folds in the paper, okay, all we did, or all I did is I took the, um, the triangle, these triangles, set them together, and I made a fold, okay, just fold them up, press it down, open it up, and there you have a shape to go down on the paper. Now, on this project that I was showing you as an example, I took a piece of construction paper and cut it into three sections and glued that down on a 12 by 18 piece of paper. You don't have to do that. You could use just a regular piece of construction paper. Let's see, I have a bunch here. A color, let's use... Let's use a dark blue. Okay, glue it down under a dark blue. So instead of cutting this into three sections, if you don't have a bigger piece of paper to put it on, leave it all as one. And now, let me move these little triangles out of the way. Whoops, because I need to fold them all up. Now I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get these to glue down a little easier because um, 
just taking glue and trying to put it on the edges of each little triangle, that's it's tough, okay? And, and you could actually make quite the mess with it. Um, yeah, believe me, you can make a mess with it, okay? So just trying to put these, get those folds on there. There we have those folds. I want to fold these up here. I'm just going to fold these right in half this way. Now I'm folding them all at one time just because my hands are a little stronger. If you can't fold them all at once, don't worry about it. Fold two or three and fold two or three more until you get them all done. Okay, now there. Now I could use these really tall like this. Okay, so that they're real tall. But I like going sideways like this so they're not quite so tall. What I'm trying to do when I when I have it this way is I'm trying to hide the inside lines. Okay, now something uh, that you might want to do a little variation, a little thing different, is if you have different colored uh, index cards, you can use those too. They don't have to all be white. Okay, I like using white just because it's a little more of a contrast. Okay, now here comes the trick. I'm going to take an index card, set it off here to the side. I'm going to take my glue, open it up, and I'm going to put a bunch of glue right in the center of that. There. There's a bunch of glue. Close up my glue. Set it off to the side. Now, instead of trying to um, glue each edge, all I'm going to do now is take the shape, tap it into the glue, okay, open it up like this, and set it down on the paper. Oh, there it is. Take the next one, do the same thing. Okay. Now, if you notice, I, I got a few of these um, that they're not right in the center, so that's why I was playing with them to straighten them up a little bit. Um, they really don't need to be because I'm going to put them on the inside anyway. So nobody's going to see the tip, but I know it. And, it, you know, if it bothers the artist, then the artist has to fix it. That's all there is to it. Okay, nobody else will notice, but I know. So I fix it and, and move on. Okay. So now you, you notice I'm putting these connected and inside of each other, okay? And I'm using an edge. And as I go, kind of this way so you can see a little bit different. As I go, it starts to curve, okay? Now I can keep these going straight and, you know, keep it straight across. But I like to have a little curve in here. It gives your eye... A little place to move around in the in the composition now uh, one thing to, to keep in mind though is we really don't want to just throw these on the paper anywhere because um, it then it just looks chaotic and it looks like hey you just threw them on there anyway you know there they are they're just thrown on there any old way and that's kind of it doesn't uh, it's, it's not very appealing okay so, I'm gonna, I have three there. Let me do a couple more here to show you how it's done. Okay. And as I said, we want to kind of keep these close together. I could get these really close together. I could get them a little farther apart. But I still want them to connect in some way. If they're way out here or way over here, um, it, it just isn't as, as pleasant to the eye. Okay, now I could switch this and I could put it over here. And do the next one. Okay, tap it into that glue. Do the next one over here like this. And I have one more. Okay, and I can set this one. Let's go this way. Whoops. That wasn't folded very well. There we go. And I'll set it that way. OK. 
Okay, so now it kind of curves up and has a little bump in it. That's fine. I use uh, the bigger ones now. And I'll do the same kind of thing. Maybe I'll want to see how this looks if I switch it around. Hmm. I want these to be uh, thinner when I put them on. So if I, the more I crease this, rub this across, the skinnier it gets. Okay. And if I don't, if I don't fold it very much, very tight, it's really wide. Now this depends on how big a paper you have. You may want them wider. I think I'm going to want them a little skinnier, so I'm going to fold them up just a little bit. There we go. I can use that real tight one there. Yeah. A little bit. And if you notice, you, you see how this is starting to create um, kind of a, another wave. Okay. I had this one going this way, and I started this one going this way, and I, you know what? I think I'm going to turn it so that it goes that way. There we go. Now I kind of like that. It has a bigger opening right here. Okay. And, you know, we have some fun with this. I can make this just almost looks like an eye. Okay, so if I wanted to, maybe I'd draw the eyeball inside of here. I don't know. All up to you. But just using these little index cards, some glue, scissors, and a piece of paper, we can create a whole new three-dimensional wings, maybe? These flying triangles. And when we're all done, we can have something that looks like this. Now we could frame this and hang it on the wall. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy. Take care. Be safe. And I miss y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.